Hi, I'm Rich Pickett, president of Personal Wings. We have a variety of aviation videos on our YouTube channel. This series focuses on the operation of the Rockwell Collins Proline 21 avionics system in the Cessna Citation CJ3. We hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the Cessna Citation CJ3. In this video, we will go over the process of initializing and entering a flight plan from Denver to Chicago O'Hare. When we first turn on the avionics switch, it brings up this screen in the CDU, the control display unit. So the first thing that comes up is the position initialization page. So we have to initialize to our location that we're at. So here it shows the FMS position, which is calculated based upon uh, our GPS and VORDME. It shows our airport location. We're not actually at Denver, but that would be the location for Denver Airport. And then it shows our GPS or Global uh, Navigation Satellite System over here. We generally initialize our position to the GNSS. So we press that, it completes it, we're done. So now we are set our GPS position. With ProLine 21, provides a natural progression to our next steps. You notice on the lower right hand corner it says flight plan. So we press flight plan. On this page we have our origin and now we'll put on our destination which is Chicago. We paste it in there from the scratch pad we execute. It's always good to execute often on the ProLine 21. That way if you make a mistake and you cancel a modification you're only going back one step rather than having to re-enter the entire flight plan. This loss of integrity signals because we're doing this in the hangar. So now we have to decide as we go on our flight plan, what is our departure runway? That's one of the best things to do to enter first if you have an idea, simply because then that helps you determine your departure route. So we press the depart arrival key. We're going to come down and use runway three, four left. Selected it. Now we can execute, but while we're still on this page, let's go ahead and pick our departure. And we're going to pick the Eon 5 departure. Transition really is none. We execute. So now when we go back to our, we now have that departure in place. We have the flight plan page. We now have that departure procedure. Wyndham is the first fix, which works out great for our flight plan. So now we go to the next page. So now we have to enter some of our waypoints. We have Wyndham, so we don't have to worry about that. The next one's going to be Drabs. So we entered it into the scratch pad, paste it, we've got it. After that's going to be J60. The only way to enter flight plans with um, airways is through the flight plan page. You can't enter it on the legs page. We'll talk a little bit about that later. So we're going to go ahead and enter J60. So it's as simple as just saying J60 via our exit points going to be India, Oscar, Whiskey. Paste it, right? We can press execute if we want to make sure we can easily come back and make a change. Then it will be tried, which is Tango, Romeo, India, Delta, Echo. So that'll be our next waypoint. Now we have our arrival in our flight plan. So the arrival that we have in this flight plan to Chicago is going to be the Shane 1. So the easiest way to do it is simply come to the Depart Arrival button. Go to the Department Arrival Index. We say we're going to arrive at Chicago. We come down using the pages until we show the chain one right there. We've got it. Chain one. Now we pick to see if there's any transitions. Tried is in our, in our flight plan. So that works out perfect for us. We select that. And let's say at the same time, we'll go ahead and pick a ILS to one of the runways. We can always change it, but at least it gives us a nice way to program it. So we'll put that in there. We'll say it's from vectors and we execute it. So now we want to go back and verify that flight plan. Come back to flight plan. Go down each page. This is, got that. Direct J60. Direct tried. Tried chain one vectors. 
Our approach is beautiful. We've got that set. You notice earlier I mentioned that there's this difference between flight plan and legs. On the legs page, let's take a look at that. Notice on the legs page, each one of those legs in the departure, the airway, or the arrival is elucidated in much, much more detail here. So in the flight plan page, it tells us the name of the departure and the legs, it actually tells us what legs we have. It's always a good idea to check. It also has altitude restrictions. Come down through, goes through all the, there's Wyndham, remember, and there's E-E-O-N-S, drabs. So this is the end of the departure out of, uh, out of Denver. This is the start of the arrival into Chicago, the Shane one. So it shows some limitations in through here. See, it has 14,000 above, 16,000 below. So it's looking at, it. we've got to be at or above 14,000, at or below 16,000 at tried. If we, they give us a clearance to descend via uh, the arrival. But it's always a good idea to look at those altitudes because when you look at them, then it gives you a great planning tool. Shows everything else down through our vectors on the arrival. Discontinuity for our approach. So we're set. So our flight plan looks good. So now we have our flight plan set and our position initialized. Now we'll proceed to the performance initialization on the ProLine 21. We have to do that step before we're ready to fly. So on our CDU, we press the PERF button. Perf button takes us to the performance menu. We select performance initialization. Our basic empty weight does not include crew in this particular aircraft. So we can fly single pilot and just me in the plane today with nobody else. So we can add our passenger weight, which is nothing, my weight, plus all our cargo and stores all in that one at this one location. So let's say that's 300 pounds. Got it. We're going to go to flight level 410. I just entered that a little bit earlier. So I execute it. So now our next step is go to takeoff. Takeoff, we have our runway loaded from before, 3-4 left. Let's say the winds are 300 degrees at 15 knots. Scratch pad and we enter it. Now it gives me headwind and a crosswind component. Or a dry runway. Our outside temperature, let's say it's warm in Denver, 20 degrees. So now we have that set up. So now when we go to the next page, it shows our V speeds. V speeds change depending on whether anti-ice is on or off. Flaps are zero or 15. And it also shows us all our weights, which is a great double check to make sure we're within limits. So our maximum takeoff is 13,870. With our fuel on board right now, uh, it's gonna be 12,184 shows that it's only going to take us 3365 uh, feet of runway and there's 16,000 available. If I press send, those V speeds are now sent to our PFDs. So now we've done this, right? So we're going from left to right. We've done the flight plan, we've done their legs, we've done our departure, we've done our performance. Now we select MFD menu that helps set up uh, our displays. It's interesting, it's called MFD menu because it's really setting up the map displays on the PFDs. So we pick speed and altitude both on the left PFD and the right one. So that means on our PFD maps as well as our, our MFD we'll be able to see our speed and altitude useful for restrictions. We go to the next page and I always make sure we have the bananas is called or the range ring selected and then go back to the left side just by default. So now we've set up, coming back to our legs page, we've set up the Rockwell Collins ProLine 21 CDU with our flight from Denver to Chicago. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos from Personal Wings, subscribe to our YouTube channel. For additional information regarding other aviation topics and services, visit our website, personalwings.com.